Hey everyone, so I am in desperate need of a harvest in my garden. So I have been like gathering flowers here and there, a handful of tomatoes, but I haven't done a big harvest of everything since the last video I posted, which was maybe two weeks ago now. I feel like I've just been in maintenance mode and like battling fungus, battling pests that I've kind of forgotten that, oh, I actually need to harvest the things that I'm growing. So we're gonna do that today. I'm on the back deck right now, which is all flowers. I'm gonna have fruit trees and nothing to harvest here. Um, I have friends staying with us this weekend that I wanna make bouquets for. I wanna make a couple for giveaway bouquets that I leave down on our front stoop for people walking by. And then I have another friend whose birthday is coming up. So that's why I wanna gather a bunch of flowers. And then we'll move to the front deck where there are more flowers and fruit and veg and herbs that I need to harvest. So let me show you what I'm gonna grab back here and then we'll do that and then I will go to the front deck. I have four jars of water. I don't have any baskets out here because it's just flowers. Although sometimes if it's flowers to dry, I will toss them in a basket, but I don't think that's what I'm gonna gather today. So I'm probably gonna get some gomfrina, definitely clean off the zinnias that are ready to harvest. I will grab some of the asters, uh, definitely some dahlias. This one I counted this morning has 17 buds on it. Uh, so I need to harvest the flowers that are in full bloom and then that'll give more space to the other flowers to grow. And then similar to the zinnias, I just come down the stem on these and harvest where it hits down to the next node that has branches. Also, someone mentioned that this dahlia, and really all my dahlias, might have mosaic virus because there is yellow on the leaves. And last year, so these are all dahlias I overwintered. Last year, the leaves were, well, they all looked like this, full green. Some of the older leaves have that yellow on them. It's growing fine, but I have read that with mosaic virus, you probably don't wanna save the tubers. So let me know if this looks healthy or not in your opinion, and whether I should overwinter these tubers yet again. And then back over here, really just a couple zinnias I'll harvest off of that one. And then these are the king apricot, apricot? <laughs> Either way, uh, these are the king apricot asters and I'm gonna harvest these too. All of the ones that I am harvesting today are cut and come again flowers. So it's not like I'm removing the flowers permanently from my garden. The more you cut, the more will grow, especially with zinnias. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then we will see how many I get. I'm gonna start with there's an ambush bug, excuse me, excuse me. I'm gonna start with the queen lime zinnias first, or queen lime with blush. And because these do have powdery mildew, I don't think I'm gonna compost the leaves. I'm just gonna start a little trash pile right there that I will probably forget them out and then take days to actually discard. Now, obviously the jars I'm putting these in are not the final bouquets that I'm gonna give away. I just gather them in the jars. I bring them all inside and then make prettier looking bouquets in there. I'm also hoping too that by harvesting these flowers, that's gonna increase the airflow to the plants that I've been having the powdery mildew issues. All right, that's probably enough off of the queen line with blush. I mean, there's still a handful of flowers left and a ton of buds that now will open and it'll be full of flowers again in just a couple days. So I never feel like the garden's too bare for too long. All right, I think that's enough off of those two. Now I'm gonna do the giant benari. Now because these are larger flowers, larger plants, they also have longer stems, which is nice in bouquets. I mean, I could cut longer stems on the smaller ones too, but this way I can do it without sacrificing flowers. All right, let's move on to the most fun flower, at least in my opinion. 
the dahlias. And basically with all the flowers I'm using, I try to get as long a stem as possible, again, without sacrificing too many other flowers. And then I will cut it down if I need to inside. You know what, I'm taking both of you. I'll put this one, because it'd be too short of a stem if I only took one. <gasps> so pretty. Let's grab you. I think we're gonna grab one last one. Maybe that one too, let's see. Eh, leave you on for a little bit longer. So I think I got four, five from that one plant. Over to the back wall now for a couple zinnias. Oh, and the asters. I don't remember the names of these zinnias because I got them from a friend and I didn't remember what she told me. So, there we are. Uh, those over there. Let's grab you and you. I find the leaves on most of the flowers I grow easy enough to just like drag your hand down and pull them off. You can leave the uh, leaves on them if you like that look better. Um, I always take the leaves off where it'll sit in water because that just keeps the water a little bit fresher. Um, but you can leave the leaves on if you want it to be a little bit fuller in your bouquets. Oh, I should trim you. You are growing everywhere. So here's my flower harvest for the back deck. So I have my Autos Thrill Dahlias. I have the Queen Lime, two varieties, blush and red zinnias. I have the giant Benary wine and the unknown zinnias. And then all of my asters. So it's Lady Coral Lavender, uh, Bonita Shell Pink, um, and then the King Apricot. But I think that looks really nice. And I really like the color palette back here. I think next year I'm gonna aim more towards more pastels even, but we'll see. All right, I am gonna have to take these inside. And it's not like I've completely cleared out my flowers at all. So I think that's a pretty good balance of what I can get in a harvest and what's still out here. I did take off all of the giant binary wine. That's fine, those will grow back soon. I still have a lot of the asters. I still, actually I should probably even grab some more of the asters maybe to dry. Uh, still have dahlia buds. I didn't do any cosmos because a lot of them are still budding. There's just a couple in bloom right now, so I wanted to leave those. But the garden is still full. That's also why I like to have a combination of like flowers to cut versus flowers not to cut. So that there is still color somewhere. Quick bug check before going in, but I'll probably bring some in with me. That's fine. Nothing new. I'm headed out to the front deck now, and yes, I did do a costume change. As much as I love dresses, and I find them to be very comfortable to wear, because that one was a little bit extra like flowy at the bottom, it kept getting caught on everything, and there's not a lot of walking room in my garden because everything's crammed together. So I just needed something that wasn't gonna get caught on every plant that I walked by. So I had to change, and now we're gonna go out and harvest whatever I can in the front garden. So first things first, if you ever break off a tomato branch and the tomatoes are still green, put the broken branch into some water. It'll start to actually root. You could replant it if you wanted to, but at least it'll give time for the tomatoes on it to ripen. So these were all green when the branch broke off and now they are ripe and I can harvest. I'm gonna start on this path first, because I don't think I'm gonna harvest any of the gumfrina over here today. Um, but I'll start down this path. I have the ground cherries, uh, I have my tomatoes, my peppers, the giant zinnias here, and then I'll get all the way down there and grab that dahlia. So let's go ahead and start harvesting here.
Okay, look, I know I took a lot of flowers out of the garden, but there are still plenty left for you. These will have to be coming inside with me. So this is my harvest now of the front deck. I actually could probably harvest some more flowers, but I'm running short on time. But I think this is maybe the most I've gotten in one harvest, especially combining the back and the front decks together. But first, look at all these tomatoes. So these are the Sun Dipper tomatoes, the smaller ones. I have my first three Roma. Uh, so these are determinate, which means that they start to ripen more at the same time versus indeterminate, like the Sun Dippers, which will kind of harvest, or harvest, which will have ripen throughout the season. So I'm thinking most of my Romas will be ready soon. Uh, then I have some ground cherries. This basket has rhubarb and peppers, jalapeno peppers. Um, I have these sweet peppers from Park Seed, and then the candy cane peppers, and then all the flowers, which I think the bee has left now, so these can come inside with me. And here is the front and back deck harvest all lined up. This makes me so happy. I can get so much from just two deck gardens, and even when I had one, I feel like that would still be a pretty good size harvest for living in the city. Um, I have some jars here for the bouquets. I'm gonna do all that tomorrow morning. Like I said, I'm kind of running short on time. I'll bring the veg down to the kitchen. Flowers will stay in these jars till tomorrow morning. And this makes me so happy. So that's gonna be everything for today. Thank you for following along with me on this harvest. I'm imagining I will have at least a few more of this size. I mean, I've been having flowers since mid to late June. It's just nonstop. I'm constantly cleaning out all the zinnia beds and then it's full of flowers a few days later. So it's been really great. I, I forget that I spend half of the year without being able to grow my own flowers and harvest my own vegetables. So I'm really trying to enjoy the time during the year that I can. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.